if anyone comes to me and does not hate his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, and his own life also. And whoever does not bear his cross and come after me. So likewise, whoever of you does not forsake all that he has cannot be my disciple. Luke chapter 14 verse 26 to 27 and 33. If the closest relationships of a disciple's life conflict with the claims of Jesus Christ, then our Lord requires instant obedience to Himself. Discipleship means personal, passionate, devotion to a person, our Lord Jesus Christ. There is a vast difference between devotion to a person and devotion to principles or to a cause. Our Lord never proclaimed a cause. He proclaimed personal devotion to himself. To be a disciple is to be a devoted, born servant, motivated by love for the Lord Jesus. Many of us who call ourselves Christians are not truly devoted to Jesus Christ. No one on earth has this passionate love for the Lord Jesus unless the Holy Spirit has given it to him. We may admire, respect, and revere him, but we cannot love him on our own. The only one who truly loves the Lord Jesus is the Holy Spirit, and it is He who has poured out in our hearts the very love of God. Romans chapter 5 verse 5 Whenever the Holy Spirit sees an opportunity to glorify Jesus through you. He will take your entire being and set you ablaze with glowing devotion to Jesus Christ. The Christian life is a life characterized by true and spontaneous creativity. Consequently, a disciple is subject to the same charge that was leveled against Jesus Christ, namely the charge of inconsistency. But Jesus Christ was always consistent in his relationship to God. And a Christian must be consistent in his relationship to the life of the Son of God in him, not consistent to strict, unyielding doctrines. People pour themselves into their own doctrines and 
God has to blast them out of their preconceived ideas before they can become devoted to Jesus Christ.